Hello everyone. Welcome to the May 31st, 2015 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. So, let's take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions. What's in store in the heavens for May 31st to June 7th and beyond? The full moon will be on Tuesday, June 2nd at 17 degrees Scorpio. This is an intense full moon because it lines up with Mars. The moon represents emotions, and when it gets into a relationship with Mars, planet of aggression and combat, the passions are easily aroused. Meanwhile, the planet of rational thinking, Mercury, is still retrograde, in other words, irrational, so the passions will be even less susceptible to reason. Last week, I talked about the Venus-Jupiter conjunction, which is now in force. Both of these planets are classed as natural benefics, in other words, representing the kind of energies that make life worth living. Having Venus together with Jupiter will put a lot of positive energy all in one sign of the zodiac. This will, of course, have consequences for everybody. So, now I will go through the zodiac and explain how this new energy pattern affects each of the 12 rising signs. What to expect in your case. You can also apply this analysis to your sun sign, but it has to be the position of your natal sun in the sidereal zodiac, which, to remind everyone, is 24 degrees behind the western tropical zodiac. Starting out with Aries rising, the Venus-Jupiter combination will be in your fourth house, an important sector of the chart signifying comforts and stability and life in the home. Since the Jupiter-Venus combination encourages social interaction, this planetary pattern is beneficial for hospitality in the home, so throw a party! Your relationship with your mother also improves. This could also be a good time for redecorating, since Jupiter indicates improvement and Venus is the planet of aesthetics. If you are Taurus rising, the Venus-Jupiter combination will be in your third house, where it helps with third house interactions, relationship with your younger sibling, close relatives, and your neighbors. Jupiter plus Venus can be too much of a good thing, which in the third house of desires and daily actions can lead to indulging your desires to excess. So, beware of that, especially for the materially inclined Taurus people. Venus and Jupiter will be in the second house for Gemini rising, folks. The second house is family, and two benefics transiting here do much to improve relationships with family members. The second house is personal finances, Jupiter is increase, and Venus is money. So, this looks good for improving the cash flow. But, the second house is also materiality and ownership, and with the indulgent combination of Jupiter and Venus, you will be inclined to spend the money as fast as it comes in. For Cancer Rising people, the Venus-Jupiter combo will be in your Ascendant. The first house of self, Jupiter brings opportunities. Venus is the planet of love and relationship. So, this is a great combination for bringing more people and possibly a love interest into your life. But, again, there can be a downside. This being the house of self, Venus, the planet of love, means self-love. And Jupiter, as the planet of increase, just exacerbates the situation. If you have a Leo rising chart, Venus will be with Jupiter in your 12th house, the house of dreams and the subconscious. Two benefics transiting here, 
brings sweet dreams. But the twelfth house is also the house of loss and expenditure, and with the two financial planets in this sector there can be unanticipated loss, or, in the case of Venus with Jupiter, a secret indulgence that results in excessive expenditure. A more positive manifestation would be a large contribution to your favorite charity. Venus will be with Jupiter in the 11th house for Virgo rising charts. Natural benefics are always welcome in the 11th house of gains and rewards. This transit indicates an increase in profits. Venus being a sociable planet and Jupiter being magnanimous, the two together have a very positive influence on the 11th house of friends and associates. The 11th house is also one of the Kama houses, a house of desire. Venus plus Jupiter here raises up your hopes and dreams, making you more confident of achieving your goals. If you are Libra rising, you have Venus and Jupiter transiting in your 10th house, the house of professional activities and community deeds. Two benefics in this important sector of your chart do much to improve your public standing and provide opportunities to advance in your career. There would also be improved relations with authorities or your boss, so this could be the right time to ask for that raise. For Scorpio rising charts, the Venus-Jupiter combo occupies your ninth house, the house of beliefs, higher learning, father, and guru. Jupiter is, in fact, the planet of beliefs, and Venus is the planet of devotion. Therefore, it is an appropriate time for showing belief in and devotion to your guru or teacher or father. Since Jupiter and Venus are planets of enjoyments, and the ninth house is long-distance journeys, this is a good time to take a trip somewhere. To benefics transiting in the ninth house of good fortune is just, generally, a good thing. Sagittarius rising charts have Venus and Jupiter transiting in the eighth house, putting the two financial planets in the house of other people's money. And this could indicate a windfall of some sort, or just that your partner is doing well financially this month. But beware of the potential downside, where the excesses and indulgence signified by Jupiter plus Venus can result in a scandal and subsequent humiliation. If you are Capricorn rising, the Venus-Jupiter combo is occupying your seventh house, the house of partnership. The planet of increase plus the planet of love in the house of relationship does much to improve your relations with your significant other. Or, lacking a significant other, this planetary combination can bring one into your life at this time. From this position, Jupiter and Venus will also be aspecting your ascendant and thus boosting self-confidence and good fortune in general. Venus and Jupiter will be in the sixth house for Aquarius rising people. Benefic planets transiting in the house of struggles usually make the difficulties easier to deal with. This is also the house of employment, so conditions at your job will improve, especially relations with co-workers and subordinates. When Jupiter and Venus are in your sixth house of enemies, it's a good time to seek reconciliation with those who you have been having problems with. And lastly, if you are Pisces rising, then Venus and Jupiter are transiting in your fifth house, the house of love, enjoyments, and children. The planet of love plus the planet of opportunity in this sector of your chart promises a new romance or better harmony with your current lover. If you have children, relations with them will generally improve, as will opportunities in their lives. Two benefics transiting in the fifth house of investment makes this time period favorable for speculation. The Venus-Jupiter combination continues for all of June and into the beginning of July until Venus leaves Cancer, 
when it moves into Leo on July 5th. Okay, one last thing, let's not forget, Mercury is still retrograde for a bit longer. Therefore, there is still a strong potential for delays, misunderstandings, and mistakes in transactions until June 11th. Since Mercury is together with Mars, planet of haste and anger, any errors in communications tend to get aggravated and can quickly escalate. Over the next two weeks, the two planets will be separating from each other, which lessens the intensity of their interaction. Mercury ends its retrograde phase on June 11th. Okay, that's it for this week. Thanks for visiting astrologynewsreport.com. I'll be posting updates and reminders during the week on Twitter at Astro News Report. <laughs>